In this guide, you will learn how to easily hold against the Germans as historical France without losing a single province, and we didn't even build forts or cheese the AI otherwise. It's just pure strategy which resulted in us trading 1 to 20. Tally ho everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at France. We are going to start off with reviving the national bloc. We are gonna shoot all of our planes, we might as well stack up the navy. I don't really plan on using it, just shift click everything, press G and then right click. To stack them up here. Research is pretty much just basic research. We're gonna put 12 on guns. We don't really need the crappy ships. Like, again, I don't really care about the navy. We are going, only gonna fight Germany, Italy, and Japan. Germany doesn't have a navy. <laughs> <laughs> Japan, I'm just gonna let the Americans deal with it. If we need to, we can build naval bombers and then wait a little bit and use what we have as our basic navy. But like, yeah, it's not really worth it to go for navies as France. We're going to build some civ factories in Normandy, Loire, Centre and Champagne. Then we can stack up all the army. We're gonna turn all of you, except for the Division the Infanterie Alpine, into the Brigade Coloniale. Why? Because it's a very nice 12 width and we are gonna need a lot of guns. Or at our Nah, we're gonna need a lot of people on the front and this is a perfect division for this. It's cheap and we can pump out 5 billion of those. For the rest of the navy, we're just gonna build convoys. Again, these ships not really interested, but we might as well finish them. I mean, look at this. It's not a really good design, but again, like just, it's almost finished, so we might as well finish it. One thing we can also do, auto accept purchase requests, and we're just gonna stack up all of the crap that we don't need. Actually, I have to check, dismiss these fighters or these planes, and then the uh, nits and the Ds are interesting, so we can sell everything else. You could keep, I guess, the tactical bombers, if you really cared about it, but uh, I'm just gonna make my own cast so we can just sell all of this don't need the tanks don't need this don't need this as for convoys sure we might as well sell all of them just because that's a lot of ic and in general just put everything on max as for the planes the ai really likes to buy planes so we can just put them on the highest cost also gonna sell 1500 trucks that can help us out a little bit in the early game and we're gonna need help in the early game we are gonna spam infantry until we have 100 of the colonial divisions so another 30 12 on guns is perfectly fine and then just start working on the rest trains aa and call it a day something like this Sounds fine. The Division of Cavalry. It's gonna be our best garrison division for now. There's recon on it, which I don't really like. It's useless for the occupation, but we can fix it later. And we can also do civilian oversight, which is bad. The benefit of civilian oversight is we get more compliance, but as soon as we push into Germany, we're gonna suffer. So I guess we can probably also go for local autonomy. Yeah, I mean, that, that should be fine if if this has already calculated, yep, okay, should be fine. So local autonomy is fine. Of course, we are also playing unmodded. The only thing that I'm missing is TOA, but most of this should apply to having no DLC. It's just gonna, some things are just gonna be a little bit more tricky. As for these guys, we are gonna promote Jean because Jean is not a stupid defensive guy and all of these have defensive doctrine. Plus, he is also a brilliant strategist, so I'm very happy to have him as our field marshal. That's pretty much the setup already. We can also draw a few front lines, North Africa, Corsica, the Alps in Italy and Germany. And then I'm also gonna make one on the Belgian front. It's not important, but this is just so uh, attrition is not gonna be an issue you everything here take half of you here to the maginot now uh, we'll see if that works out i would bother with setting up the army properly but as soon as we add more units this all is going to be messed up anyway so might as well wait here now we do have logistics fulfillment because we are selling out all of our convoys but that's gonna be fixed in a minute. In terms of focus tree, there's one thing we can do is we can ban communism, but it's not really worth it because this is only gonna matter for the political violence focus, actually protest focuses, which is Freedom Front and the Bloom Violet proposal, which we're not gonna go for soon. By the time that this goes down, the uh, political violence will be removed by itself. Then we're just gonna get a bunch of generals. Hunziger is nice, the infantry guy, Giraud and 
Okay, nee. We can get the goal, but I'm gonna keep the goal because he is harsh leader, armor officer, so he's gonna be more useful for actual pushing divisions. And as you can see, we are already selling a bunch of our equipment. Rhineland, we're gonna issue a diplomatic objection. There's a few things you can do here now. I'm gonna go historical, like boring historical, so not even little entente, just if you want to play historical France. It's the exact same path, no matter which path you choose, just historical is weaker. If you do Gatatui, you can just, you're not democratic, so you can do curl up governments, you have better conscription, or well, more access to conscription and economy laws, all of this stuff. For power gaming, I would probably go Ratatouille. Little on Todd is also very fun, but again, we're just gonna go buy time, which also makes us weaker because it's gonna take longer to get to defensive stratagems. We would lose this jointed government already here, and you know, like you can see that that's three focuses, and then we can do it here. That's one, two, three, four, five focuses. Wow, shift click train to get some XP. Another pro tip for cleaner front lines. You do front line and shift left click. That way you have a combined front line. So if I did it normally, you can see like we have these 5 billion splits here. But if we do shift left click, we're just gonna have one straight for front line, which is much better. With the basic one, your generals will all be delegated to an area. But as you can see, like here, the divisions from Alphonse are all split up. And if we had the normal front, then all of Alphonse divisions would be here. Just makes managing the front easier, especially, you know, if you add and subtract units. I think we can already militarize. Ah, communist and government. That event is not. Not bad, but I'm just gonna take the communists. We're gonna shoot them anyway. I'd rather keep the stability because France doesn't have a lot of stability. As for the ships, we are gonna select these guys, create a new task force, take the submarines, and just give you to another guy. And we're gonna go with concentrated. La Cifere is much better than agricultural protectionism because you get free industry research bonuses and you lose 50% of the inefficient economy. So that's 10% factory output and 10% doctor output after two years and the agricultural protectionism gives you sieve factory construction speed which is useful for a whole year protect the rights of man we're just gonna rush down to strengthen government now and call it a day we can also already deploy the fighters might as well get the cast here and train the cast shift left click as well so they stop once they're level three did i say fighters cat whatever the planes the only planes that we have left research we're going with concentrated simply because if we look at the mios we can get a bunch of production efficiency buffs so this is gonna be very nice gives us more time to strike some power some fear into the germans we are also only gonna care about moraine so soil the light aircraft designer as well as the infantry tank designer for our medium flame tanks because I have no interest in making proper tanks today. Right, with our PP we can now hire the air reformer as well as uh, the workhorse. Might as well get radios and next stuff. Mm, sure start working with the infantry tech. Also, one cool thing about France, we do have the Panhard, the uh, armored car designer, which you should never touch anyway. But I guess it's cool. Just as cool as embargoing Italy. Or subscribing after I eat a raw lemon. Right, strength in government, which means in one year, we're gonna lose our defensive strategy. I mean, this strength in government. We are done with our SIF factories, so I'm just gonna pump out mill factories in 80% areas. Preferably not on the front, because we're gonna lose a few tiles. We're not gonna lose a, ma a lot, but just a bit. And Spain, I don't have PP, so you're on your own. But <laughs> you've got this. Look at this. The front, there, nothing has happened. I mean, you've lost two provinces here, um, and I guess you've lost them. But you've got this! You've got this! We are also gonna begin rearmament now, as well as aggressive focus. That's so important. Simply because, <laughs> look at this! It's actually useful to get more army XP. Let's also get the basic small airframe. That should be our setup for the um, air war. Oh, I love having free research slots. It's so cool. But I mean, I, I do like France. Like, there's just five billion things to do. Like, doing improved work or conditions and uh, I mean but for real though like you have to get rid of the stranded government you have to get rid of the infished economy you can get rid of full employment you need to get rid of your stupid victors of the great war like there's so much to do as France and I love it aggressive focus done we're gonna get Mori and then we're gonna devalue Franck and then we're just gonna rush down the left side to the resource slot the better infantry tech now we don't have points 
This is super important. I'm gonna use my navy so much. Also, we are democratic. Like, that's one benefit. We're gonna get relief of command. 25% more army XP. Fuck you. Sure, more communists for us. Hate, I'm gonna defend this tile of 240,000 men with my life. There's a whole infrastructure there. And that's it. But it's Turkey, they're not gonna do anything. I'm also not used to having rubber, so we can already produce a fighter. Let's put a few on this. We don't really have factories anyway, so. Political violence has been removed. There we go, we've done nothing. And we can just ban communism the old fashioned way. Or we can just do some raids. Centralized control, air crew service, fault attack, divert bomber protection because we're not gonna produce any bombers in the next four years. Actually, four years is now. We're gonna produce something in four years. I guess we can get the heavy MGs and the survivability studies. Actually, no, uh, let me get the armored train as well as invest in Algerian force. And one thing that's cool about France, you don't need to spend anything on military high command because all of these are ass anyway. But let's get rid of the destroyed government now and deploy all of these. Next thing, I'm gonna turn you into a proper holy boy template. There we go. That's fine for now. And then we're gonna give you the pawn just so I know which ones are which on the front. Drop you lot here and uh, Gaston. Just pump out 5 billion of those. Oh, nice. We can actually produce a bunch of those. Just need a bunch more RT. And then let's get the engineers too. We can also hire Bloom, the radical guy. And then let's rate it. Communists once again. And World War II is gonna kick off. Haha, <laughs> no, it's not. It's just the Czechs are gonna die, but surely he's gonna stop now after getting this hidden land. Okay, once this train is done, there we go. Switch to the armored one and keep on pumping out mill factories. We also didn't get the mob event. That sometimes happens. Bit of a bummer because now we're weaker than we would be, but for showing casing this, I guess it's nice because then, you know, like I am weaker than you should be by this point. I am gonna get. Hashkov, but now we are not allowed to spend any PP anymore because I want 300 PP by the start of the war for extensive and war economy. Actually, sheesh, it's insane. Okay, let's take you, split you up, get Freidenberg. Again, train these guys and I'm gonna send all of them up here. All right, I'm gonna invest in planes now a lot and fighters. Not because I want to, but because I can. As you can see, we're already out of manpower. <laughs> but uh, this is gonna be fixed in a minute. Here, you can go for army reform already, which is very nice. But I do like big numbers, so I'm gonna go for the colonies and I'm getting all of the investments for more factories. Doctrines are also very nice because then you can hold better against Germany. All right, we have engineers too. You know what that means. Flammpanzer, the cheapest crap you can find under Renault with dozer blades and call it a day. And then let's do something like this. And then just put flam pencils on the holy boys. I'm still selling a little bit of equipment. We don't have that much to sell anymore. But hey, our industry is booming. We're at 108 factories. Germany is sitting at, I already know, yeah, more, but hey, it's not that bad. Especially considering we're gonna get a nice bump after we invested in these three and then do mill factories, colonial industry and all that. One thing I honestly think would be fine now, we can convert a few into holy boys. Let's delete all of these because we don't have manpower. I'm not gonna get the 39 gun just yet because it's much more expensive, like three steel, two steel. We can probably afford it, but right now I wanna hold. So I'm gonna get the cheap stuff that we can take to make holding easier. And then later on we can worry about optimizing our army and it's April 39 so I think it's a very nice time we take a look at fronts I'm gonna say these seven will be able to hold here we can send seven on Corsica which is honestly more than enough I'm gonna send 10 on the Maginot, that's easily enough. I'm gonna go with 12 down here. Get another fighter squadron, train you as well. I'm gonna get a little bit of freedom oil, just so we're ready for the war. Switzerland wants to help us a little bit out. I do really like the 15% consumer goods factories and the 10% construction speed. I'm gonna take that once, maybe twice, but I want a little bit in stockpile for the war. Romania already joined the Axis, oh my. That's gonna suck. We cannot join the Allies yet. I guess, I mean, 
We can join the allies, but I'm just gonna wait a month and then we'll have well tension. That's to improve workers. Right, we can join the war. I do know that Germany is a little bit picky with declaring war on you. You don't have to join the war, but I will do it anyway. Like you can just wait for Germany to declare war on you. I'm gonna join the war and simulate that Germany declares war on you. Draw front lines everywhere for planning bonuses. As for the front lines, you can just press tab. And then it's gonna cycle through every available front to draw an arrow. But I'm not gonna link the fronts because you can see we have the level 10 fort everywhere. So we only need 10 divisions here, but we need a lot more on the actual Belgian front because the Germans will push through there. If we don't have divisions there, we're gonna join the war immediately, war econ and extensive conscription, put up planes on air superiority. The Germans will start pushing us or will attempt to push us. We actually have a perfect amount of flame tanks, which is missing a little bit of RT, but we also have a bunch of divisions in training already, or still. We have mill factories now. One of two things I like to do, either get colonial industry now, that's 12 factories, or continue going down the army reform tree. I do like both, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go air dominance. We can't even build a half decent cast already. But yeah, 70 days and we can build some proper cast. Communists influence the foreign policy. No, I'm not gonna ban communism just yet. So we're gonna do communist raids and then embrace them. If you want to conserve manpower, you can also put the British on the front. But I'm fine with using our own men. Gives us more war score. Oh, well, we also get Belgians. Come on. Just everybody is sending us their divisions. I mean, we are also dealing damage. So it doesn't make sense that they trust us. And you get out of the Congo. No. I don't want Belgians in the Congo. You're better off in Belgium. I'm gonna convert a few of you into holy boys, I guess. Just have to be a bit careful here so we don't turn too many into holy boys. Like it's gonna take a while until they get their equipment and then during that time they're gonna be weaker, so. Considering they're not pushing us at all right now, I think we are fine with getting colonial industry, honestly. If they were a bit stronger, I would go down the street and potentially get a few doctrines just so we can hold. <laughs> We already have infantry experts, so the game is over. <laughs> we have an infantry special. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the game is over. Hitler can't do anything anymore. Legitimately, like, there's nothing he can do now. There we go. Very good, very cheap. Cast with a lot of range. The one thing that sucks, we don't get any cast buffs with these, but that's fine. And that should be our fighters for now. And we don't need that much on fighters, especially considering we're already winning the air war. You into holy boys. And then let's get the better gun. This was a pathetic push from the Germans. Sure, it's not over. Germany has done nothing. They haven't even taken a tile. And time to use our cast. It's gonna do... Oh, look at this. 50 planes and they're already doing damage. Okay, the communists are still pissing me off. Sure. We have 80,000 infantry equipment and stockpile. I don't even have that many men. Oh, God. Oh, that's the first raid that I've seen. What? What's happening here? Hitler's getting all of the doctrines. It's turning you into holy boys as well. You're fighting right now, but should be fine if I just shuffle these guys in. I've done this path multiple times and you might have to shuffle a little bit, but not intensely. Now the Italians, they actually... I didn't really plan on you already joining. I guess I'm gonna get you guys down here, just so we have something on the front. That's also why you should usually train a few divisions, just in case of surprises like this one. There we go! Mussolini has done more damage than Hitler by taking ooh, four tiles. Wow. Some people also build supply ups here, but I don't really give a shit. Like, sure, take Savoy. Look at this, like, there's not even a factory here. Oh no, they lost, they got dockyards. Wow. Yeah, I don't really give a shit. It's not worth the investment for me. And then we can also go to military production already. Cut! What the fuck? How often are you gonna do this? Italy is also gonna be cringe and constantly invade Corsica. But it doesn't really matter because they're gonna flee anyway. Just do this the entire time. The British are attacking here. So might as well. As for the Navy, if you want to, you can put it up here in the... Oh, actually, the British are aggressive here. Usually they abandon the Adriatic and the Tyrrhenian. As for these guys, North Africa, we're just gonna make one small push and that should be enough to win us the battle. There we go, we have overrun. We've taken Tripoli and these guys can just go down here. I'm gonna make sure to pin with these. There we go. And these guys are encircled. And draw another arrow. Shift, left click this and then the arrow. So we only start this arrow. And the Germans are still pushing. Or, well, attempting to push. Get more casa out. You can also give refuge to Germans and Italians. It's fine. But I personally prefer the stability right now. Instead, communist raids, press censorship. I just love North Africa, man. You make one push and the entire front is done. Germany has lost 2.4 million against us. And they've done 160,000 damage. Oh, I forgot to give you aggressive assault as well. As well as offensive structure. 
Captain as well as infantry expert. <gasps> the tank is making it harder to push, so let's draw a front line. Let's make this properly. Wait a bit until they get offensive bonuses. Get some cas here. We have army reform. Finally. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop. Pretty much done with our doctrine. Might as well convert the rest of you into holy boys. Nah, let's go mechanized. But I will put two on trucks just for supply in case we need it. And do we have... Yes, we can build some roads down here. Get a bit more oil. I mean, uh, rubber. Put up the cars. And there we go. Oh, you know what? I'm also going to do excavation. I suppose we can do limited exports. But we do need better flame tanks now. The uh, additional research slot I'm very happy to see. Then we also should also encourage immigration just to get rid of, of the factory output debuff and the manpower. You can do French Union, but... French Union absolutely sucks because it's just flat percentages. You can't really influence it in any way. There's a very high chance that you're gonna lose Syria, you're gonna lose Madagascar, and then you're gonna get like Indochina. Like, what's the point? It's such a bad focus, man. Get the medium tank. Enemy bombing? How did we get 30% from enemy bombing? What are you bombing? We've had green air the entire time. I mean, sure, I'm on air superiority, so they're not gonna prioritize bombers, but still. And then uh, we also want logistics companies for our mechanized. No, what? Switzerland, come on. Right, the Japanese are gonna take our rubber, which I'm not that happy about. You know what? Let's make one stack that should be able to hold. I'm not gonna bother with defending North Africa. If the AI takes it, then they take it. Okay, Hitler, you are a little bit cocky now. Stalin, come on. How are you getting pushed by this Germany? They're down 5 million men already. And they're missing the French economy, which is the strongest in the the final stuff that I'm just gonna get is this stuff. Gives us a bit more economic power. I am gonna split up the fighters a little bit. Make it automatically managed. We don't have that many fronts anyway, so this is fine. And then I'm just gonna make a push with these guys. It's gonna skew our kill ratio a little bit, but hey, it's fine. 20 to 1, we can also take a little bit of damage in this war. As well as, I guess, free Belgium and the Dutch. Hang on, hang on, what, what happened here? Wait a minute. <laughs> Did my Maginot front get scuffed up? Because we have one here. Yeah, the Maginot front extended to the entire front. <laughs> Look at this! We're in Frankfurt! That is sad! Come on! Pushing is getting harder here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop now. Because we're actually getting a lot of red. I wanted to push into Germany. Just get a bit more planning bonus and all that. We lost 200,000 men here from this push. Only have 60% war score though. Not that it really matters at this point, but we might as well get some suppression tanks. And I will put Germany and Italy on secret police, just because they have a much higher resistance for some reason. And then let's get our French Indochina forces around here. This tile is super important, just because uh, 130 rubber, that's a lot. We have to push now. I don't want the Soviets to take the stuff, so I want my wars. Woo! We're actually pushing into the Alps as well. Wait a minute, can we do an encirclement here? That is very nice that we did an encirclement here. Because uh, while it is just a secret line, we might as well. Right, at this point, uh, there's not anything we can... I mean, I guess we can get resource gain efficiency. Freedom Front, which we can't bypass. Air focus is absolutely useless. We can go air production, good focus. But I'm gonna get global integration and then I'll probably get some people. There we go, Germany is out. Wait, Hungary never joined! Hungary joined the... Okay. Uh, I guess having a competent France is more cursed than you would think. 29 divisions and nobody is pushing. There's 90 divisions for this one guy. Good choice, Bulgaria, to join the war now. I do want the Romanian oil, which is gonna make the borders ass, but that's not my problem. That's just your problem! Okay, wait, I have to actually take a look here. Give state to Regenville Sud. Okay, I'm gonna take the African stuff. Actually, they just take state here. Take state? Okay, take take state is fine. I just don't, don't want them to liberate here. We're not a charity. I'm also gonna draw front here, I guess. Wait, no, Hungary is in the ally. Why is Hungary here? Uh -huh. Do I make pro- I guess I make proper front. Two stacks to Romania, one stack to Germany, and the rest on the Iron Curtain. And then I'm gonna get some PP. I think PP is more useful than the other trash right now. Uh, let's build radar here, radar here. Construct some air bases. Let's get the flame tank up to speed. 
<laughs> Literally. <laughs> Why are you so slow? This flame tank is mostly interesting for our motorized division because I don't want them to use the crappy flame tank. We do need them to be speedy and fast. Let's make two stacks of those. This is our garrison division. It has as much suppression as armored cars. This one is so much cheaper. It's the armored car is four. Maybe 4.4, I don't remember. Let's just take a look. Actually, we do have armored car. The, yeah, the cheapest one is four production costs. So this light tank is half as expensive. Japan never declared war on us, huh? I guess we're gonna join the war then in a second. And within a second, I mean now. I should have done this earlier as well. Reinforcements, no upgrades, uh, care about supply. Don't really care about the produced ones. There we go. And then heroism and bolts of spirits just to get rid of the bombing and combat casualties. And we might as well get a bit of oil ourselves. Great, now I'm gonna get spammed of all the naval invasions in stupid little islands that I don't give a shit about. China has already won here, okay. Usually I would just send my entire army here to deal with China. Since we've already won here, let's just ask for mill access and drop in Hiroshima. Sure, we might as well put some recon on our divisions. This needs 2,000 support equipment. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Now, with the Italian puppet, you have to pay attention that Italian independence doesn't pop up. So one thing I'm gonna do to prevent this, you can prevent this by just inviting them into a war or annexing them. I guess the British have, they are one step ahead. So let's just do the old strat that I like to do. Just garrison occupation, everything, and usually Japan cannot deal with it, especially if they lost in China. I don't know why, but I think if they lose in China, they just delete most of their army for some reason. There we go, 50 points. I don't give a shit. And I think it is time we get our Germany back. Memel. No, wait. Uh, can't sick. I mean, we free Poland. There we go. Yes. The goal and the other guy gets put under Hunziger. Right. We start the war. Promise of peace broken? That's the first time that I've seen this one. Wow. Also, after annexing Italy, you have to cancel all of their production because that's a bug. Unless you never want to produce anything anymore with your industry. Down here, we are actually weak. You know what? Let's just fall back. I could send the mechanized in to defend or just shuffle some troops from above, but uh, we're gonna take the Romanian stuff later anyway. Why are the French tanks so slow? Sure, let's just put on Hotchkiss. We can still produce with Renault for the production efficiency buffs. Ooh, they're actually funneling planes into Italy, so how many planes do you have? Let's just do FOW, so we see the fighter numbers. 4,000, okay. If you care about an agency, I might as well just get it now. It's not really that important in my opinion. Oh, come on, Stalin! Why are you so annoying today? <laughs> I was like, why can I not? What? I've never seen this. Airbase has around 300 airplanes? Why can I not? Soviet Union? What? I guess that's what I get for not putting up garrisons. But that's what you have your proper divisions for. Wouldn't have minded if they took out the Cavinciniere though. Because I can't delete it, but I can let it get deleted. Always happy to see this event, because that's just free stability and free political power. The rest is banned anyway. As for spies, since I'm democratic, I don't really care about it. But the s pills commando training, this row up here, and the department is nice. The training centers against the Soviets. I get these if it's very late game, since you do get an edge for combat and all that. Oh, come on, you can push into La Spezia. 100% Okay, um, now that we're here, I think I'm gonna try and get out of here. Nice. I'm gonna see if we can push just through here. Yes. Yes, there we go. These are all encircled. Uh, why are you moving? Please, guys. Use half a brain cell. I know it's hard for the AI. And then we just try and collapse the front here. And the great thing about mechanized, you just right click. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you just right click. They are the perfect subs. They just do whatever you tell them to. The perfect bottom. Also, I love this model. What the fuck is this supposed to be? 6.3 million. <laughs> I just encircled the units here for a little bit. I didn't take a look at any other front. I legitimately didn't expect them to just have nothing left. As well as have taken 6 million men. <gasps> No, you didn't clean up the boot. They can't build a port here. Expert delegator. There we go, finally. Sure, let's put up the boats here on strike force. Oh my God, those trades though. Look at this. One to 100, sometimes even better than that. Also, we can give refuge to Italian scientists, which I guess it makes sense. Democratic Italy does not exist, but where would they be if not in Italy? I cannot give you refuge. You are all already in my country. Why do I lose stability for that? Right, let's decrypt the Soviets. 
Let's get a Soviet spy. Jabir Nesterov. Communists are still influencing our politics. Come on. Okay, I guess communist China, but we're at war with every other communist nation. And I guess Paraguay. Come on. Stalin, bump your conscription law. We only dealt 17 million damage so far. You have to show a little bit of content heart, you know? There we go, thank you very much. Let's just push through Czechoslovakia. It sucks because of the faults, but you've seen this is effective. So just look away for the next two minutes because it's gonna be painful. I could bomb it, but I'm not gonna build strat bombers for this. And we don't have nukes yet, so we'll have to take a little bit of red. And Czechoslovakia is dead. That's a lot of Soviets, you know what? Let's just stop pushing for a minute. Sabotage! Stop this crap! Cavalry? Yes! Combined arms expert! Stop! Fuck you, Poland! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Stop it! Also, yes, this is exactly what I wanted the front line to look like. This and nothing else. Turkey declared one Soviet Romania. Please don't join the Allies. I just love it how Germany invites you to an anti commenton pact when I am the anti commenton pact. And I guess the Turks. We are running out of aluminum. But that's just because we have 5 billion factories now. 24 million Soviets for 740,000 French. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Now again, if you were not playing as democratic France, you could actually do collaboration governments. But because Paradox doesn't like this, we are not allowed to. So we will have to push into the Urals. I could call in communist China since they're part of the Allies, but it's kind of cheating. And doing a naval invasion from Japan is also cheating. The only thing you're allowed to do is right-click and cheese the AI. Also, we are on super civilian oversight, uh, local autonomy. So all of the Soviet land is very ouchy ouchy to hold. Sure, let's, let's just go down to local police force with everyone. Also for colonies, which sucks because now they're gonna lose compliance. But I don't really care about the five guys that I'm gonna suck out of equatorial Africa. I'm just gonna stop pushing and we can snipe a few supply hubs that are close on the front. Which I guess were these two, so that was a few. Depending on your definition of a few, maybe a couple. Let's just build a supply hub. What's the point? And let's also go to construction engineering. All right, push. Just another 7% victory points. So we're almost there. Definitely. Just, yeah, I don't have anything left to do today. So we can wait another three hours. I was having so much fun. Turkey has zero points. Oh, well. The PCL system says I have so many points. So I do have so many points. Now, please go watch my division template guide where I go more in depth which divisions to use and when. 